Oh, I just, oh, I did not know there was going to be an intro. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, it's Prince Adam, and I'm going to show you how to do your makeup. First step, touch your face, every part of your face, to remind you that you indeed have one. Next step, spray your face. It doesn't matter what with, just make sure it sprays like this. Alright, now we are going to put in fake eyeballs. So just reach in and touch your eyeball. Give it a little poke. Alright, do one eyeball and now do the other. Just poke it, that's right, might hurt. Make sure to blink, but you already touch your face so you know where your eyeballs are. Alright, now let's spread mud all over your face. If you are spreading mud, make sure you have a little squishy thing uh, that you can put the mud on to evenly distribute the mud. It might take a while, it might not, but you see, you just need to just keep on coating until your face is uh, all the same color. Now you're going to draw little smiley faces under each eye and draw a little like, oh, oh no, my mouth is open because I'm scared faces are uh, on your chin, like by your jaw. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to take a little poofy brush that looks like if you took a raccoon tail or something and put it at the end of a stick and touch the little smiley faces. Like this. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. I think that's good. Alright, now we are going to take a little pencil and poke it in your eye. I'm not really sure what this, uh, what the effect of this is, but it makes you look real good in the end. Just don't worry, just do it. These are beauty tips all the way from Perry. So now what we are going to do is just dust a different color over your face mud to make your eyelids uh, really whatever color you want. Right now we are using red because we like apples, but they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, if your eyes look like apples, then you're going to stay healthier. All right. Now that your eyelids are different colors, uh, just make sure they are both the same color. All right, now they are even, maybe a little bit more. All right. Now you're going to take your little dabby spongy thing and dab away your cheek smiley faces. Make sure that only someone very close to you, like if you're like nose to nose with someone, only then they can see the smiley faces. And to the little like, oh no, what's happening faces, you want to do the same thing. Alright, now you're going to make a little Thanksgiving turkey with uh, uh, on your nose. And dab, 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 Basically the same thing that you did under your eyes with the smiley faces. And this time with a turkey. All right. Now we are going to brush your eyebrows. Make sure they are nice and soft Use lots of different brushes. And then take your brush and just paint it a different color. Just paint it, make it larger. This way you can show the people of anywhere you are how big your eyebrows are and that you are smarter than them because you can like raise your big old eyebrows and be like, hmm, I know something that you don't. It's a way of making yourself look more sneakier and it really works, especially in a business format. Like, I'd say if you're going to a business meeting, it's, it's a good thing to do. Now, once again, every once in a while, just take the big puffy brush and like dust your face off. Because all of this makeup stuff, it makes dust form on your face a lot quicker than it normally would. So you just want to dust it off every once in a while, like 
for example, you are a paleontologist finding a bone. All right, now that you're done with secondary dusting, you need to retouch those smiley faces. Make even smaller smiley faces under your eyes that are the same color as your eyelids. That looks great. Stick out your tongue, make sure you have it. Remember, makeup is all about remembering you have a face. All right, now, Another thing you could do to assert your power in the workforce or at school, just make sure people know you mean business, is to make your, the ridges of your eyebrows even larger. That's what we just did. And make the inside of your eyes very shiny. That's another good thing to do because it looks like you may be made out of metal, so no one wants to mess with you. All right, just make it shiny, make it shiny. This is just making you really intimidating. You know, you might be a team man, or you wizard of all the turns out there. All right. Now that you have three streaks of shininess, you can start brushing yourself again. See, now that she's brushing, she's revealing a deeper crease underneath the shiny part that she is using a she's using basically a darker powder mud to do this. Alright. Wow, look at how shiny. More red to make sure she looks healthy. Alright, and don't forget to brush your face every once in a while. You want to get that dust away. More red, more red, more red. You know, this is something that Snow White used to do before the Apple incident, and I think it really helped her. All right, now is the hardest part. You're going to take a magic marker and just draw an outline of your eye around your eye. What this does is it keeps the sun out of your eye so you don't even need sunglasses. Alright, make sure to do both eyes or else uh, you have to get a sunglass monocle. This is good, this is good. Do it around the eye so you don't look tired because your eyes are straining in the sun. Wow, look how good you look. Alright, now we are going to take an even tinier brush and brush out your eyelashes. Because the eyelashes, as we all know, are the most important part of the human face. The eyelashes need to be brushed to make sure that they stay poofy. Because poofy eyelashes are a sign of health and vitality. Alright. The lips, you make them shiny again uh, to make you look tougher, and then just paint over them any color you want. Today we are using a pink color because pink is pretty. So that's why, right, that's why. Right. It's just all aesthetic. I like pink, you like pink. It is optional to do both sides of the lips, but today we are doing both lips. This way people will be able to read your mouth and uh, understand your words without you speaking better. If you get what I'm saying, like, you know, if you're at a party and you're like, hey, I want to leave to a friend, but you don't like actually voice it, you're just like, hey, read my lips. This way is an easy way for them to do that. All right, now uh, brush your face again. Make sure to get all that makeup dust off and just as a finishing touch for all this face stuff, go at it again with the little spongy thing. It's soft and squishy and fun to play with. Again, it's very important, shiny stuff. Shininess is the way to show toughness. And in the rough and tumble world of the city, it's the only way to get by. Now you're ready to go, so shake out your hair, put on your wig, and go conquer the world.
Because guess what? You can do it. And now with these easy makeup steps, you are ready to just go out there and be the princess you are meant to be. You know what I mean? So this is Adam just saying, follow these makeup tips that I do every day. They are simple, they are fun, and they might keep you alive longer. I don't know. There are health tips too. So just wink at the world, give lots of kisses, and comment below if you like this, or if you don't like this, and like the video. Like it! Okay, bye. And subscribe.